We looked at signs and symptoms of cystitis and pyelonephritis. We distinguished between bacteriuria, sterile pyuria, and sterile urine using the results of a UA. Now the next learning objective is ensure urine cultures are taken in patients with pyelonephritis or recurrent cystitis. Okay, so here's the severity of urinary tract infections. So it goes from less severe to more severe. So note that cystitis is all the way to the left. So cystitis in general is a benign infection. If you don't treat it, it may actually resolve on its own, or it's possible that it can actually progress to pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis, however, is a severe infection. Keep in mind that uh, you know by the time it's pyelonephritis, it has actually infected the kidneys by now. And it can actually progress to bacteremia, and that's assuming, you know, if it's an ascending infection. So if the infection, if the bacteria are actually coming from, um, from the bladder, so it's ascending, it's going up to the kidneys, and then the next step is to go into the uh, blood, causing bacteremia. The other way to get it is actually the descending uh, pathway. So if, it, if someone has bacteremia, uh, the bacteria can come from the blood and go to the kidneys and cause pyelonephritis. Uh, so for pyelonephritis, we do need uh, urine, uh, you know, urine and sometimes blood cultures. And when I say sometimes, you know, if someone suspects that it's already made it to the blood, that's when you're gonna need uh, blood cultures. But you definitely need urine cultures to uh, to treat uh, pyelonephritis. And then of course the very severe infection is urosepsis. Urosepsis basically means sepsis caused by UTIs. For urosepsis, both the urine and blood cultures are needed. So note that the reason we always get blood cultures is, uh, you know, this is an extremely severe infection. Uh, patients, in fact, need to be admitted to the hospital because this is an emergency and it can lead to death. That's how severe uh, this is if it's not, uh, you know, managed appropriately. So this is, you know, definitely patients need to be in the hospital. Whereas uh, for cystitis, because it's a benign infection, the patients do not need to go to the hospital. Uh, they can be treated outpatient. So typically patients end up going to the their primary care physician. Uh, a lot of patients who get multiple um, cystitis throughout the year, they can actually, um, you know, get treatment over the phone. So if you already have a primary care physician established, you know, sometimes uh, you can call your doctor and the doctor will, um, you know, send a prescription to your pharmacy. Or sometimes the doctor can actually, you know, if, if, if you already have established uh, primary care physician and they know that you get multi or the patient gets uh, you know, uh, uh, cystitis like four or six times a year, they can actually give antibiotics ahead of time and then the patient can go ahead and take the um, antibiotics uh, as they get cystitis because it's, you know, for someone who gets cystitis multiple times, it's easy for them to identify the symptoms and it also eliminates uh, unnecessary costs of going to the doctors, uh, you know, for a benign infection especially it will eliminate uh, patients going to the emergency department. And then of course in the middle we have pyelonephritis which is a severe infection but it's not really an emergency so it's recommended that patients should go to the urgent care clinic. So you know um, urgent care clinics are you know typically open 24 hours so um, you know patients typically end up going to the e emergency department because you know a lot of people are not aware that there are urgent care clinics and that can actually reduce the cost because going to the emergency department is very expensive and it should be uh, reserved for uh, very severe infections but the reason uh, pyelonephritis needs to go you know patients need to go uh, to the urgent care clinic rather than outpatient is because urine cultures are needed uh, so you know uh, it's not something that the doctor can do uh, in the office or over the phone so at least the patient needs to go to the um, urgent care clinic um, and you know potentially to the hospital if needed so who sh who exactly needs uh, urine cultures so as i mentioned pyelonephritis is a severe infection and cultures are needed to ensure appropriate uh, treatment is uh, selected uh, urine culture is not needed for cystitis it is needed for recurrent cystitis and the reason is if someone c c you know keeps getting cystitis it's likely to be due to resistant organism so for that reason we need cultures to identify uh, you know susceptible um, 
uh, uh, susceptible uh, anti antimicrobial agents to make sure we treat it uh, appropriately. And uh, of course, complicated UTRs are also more likely to be uh, due to resistant organism, and that's why we also need urine cultures to make sure we use um, agents that are susceptible.